come, sir. Thank you, Pastor. Everybody praise the Lord. Are you there? Something coming your way. The heavens will be opened upon you. Great is our God. Great in power. Great in operation. And great in manifestation. And over there today, at the point where you are, the power of a great God will work in your life. Online, everywhere, every community, every congregation, every country, all over, every continent, the power of God is moving tonight in an unprecedented manner in your life. In Jesus' name, I will receive. I will receive. It is confirmed in heaven. You are a candidate for miracle today. Father, we thank you today and bless your name. We've heard of what you've done all over the world through this GCK, this global crusade. And we pray that tonight, every miracle that we need, you shower from heaven upon everyone in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray that you touch every heart, every soul, everyone and all the areas of our lives will receive a divine touch from you in jesus name we praise you because we know it is done already our jericho walls will fall down today all those powers of darkness will scatter today and the glory will be yours and the miracle will belong to every one of us in jesus name i pray if the miracle is coming your way shout another amen God bless you. You can see now. I'm looking at the scriptures now today. Acts chapter 8. Acts chapter 8. And I'm reading from verse 32. Acts of the apostles chapter 8. And we're looking at verse 32. The place of the scripture which he read was this. Somebody was reading the scripture. And that same day. The scripture he read became fulfilled in his life. He never knew. He didn't even understand. The place of the scripture that he read is, was this. And today, the scripture we're reading will be fulfilled in your life. Every promise fulfilled in your life. Every prophecy fulfilled in your life. Every proclamation that we make today is coming right there to the center of your life in Jesus' name. I told you to give me a good amen before. The place of the scripture which he read was this. He was led as a sheep to the slaughter. And like a lamb dumb before a sharer, he opened, so opened he not his mouth. And he didn't understand what all that meant. And the explanation and the exhortation and the application came in verse 35. In verse 35, it says, Then Philip opened his mouth and began at the same scripture and preached unto him Jesus. He opened his mouth and from that same scripture that he read, that you heard now, he preached unto him Jesus. What did he tell him? Jesus is a savior. He told him Jesus is a sanctifier. Jesus is our redeemer. Jesus is our substitute. Jesus is the all-sufficient redeemer. And Jesus is the healer. Jesus is the creator that will recreate everything in your life, everything around you. He preached unto him, Jesus. And that's what I come to tell you tonight, that tonight Jesus is your savior. That tonight Jesus is your healer. 
that tonight Jesus is your deliverer. Every power of darkness in your life, I'm fighting against your life. Tonight, Jesus has come to deliver you. I am delivered. I am delivered. I'm talking to you tonight on the all-sufficient lamb for all sin-seek souls. Every soul seek physically, seek spiritually, seek domestically, seek in any way. The Lord is the all-sufficient lamb and he has come to deliver you today. That deliverance that we have read about and Philip preached about and preached unto him and proclaimed unto him and exhorted him and told him this is for you. Tonight, this scripture will be for you. The all-sufficient lamb for all sin seek souls. Three things we're looking at. Number one, personal, purposeful freedom through the Passover lamb. Personal freedom. No other person, no person will take it away from you. Purposeful freedom. The Lord sets us free. It's like, you know, you have a goat, stubborn goat, with rope on the neck and tied to the pole. And that goat tied there couldn't move any place because it's tied to the pole. There are people like that, their lives are tied down. And they only can run around that little circle and that little pole. And they lie tied down like that. Christ has come to loosen all the cords in your life. To break all the chains of your life. That you have never been able to move here and there. But today, deliverance has come. Today, freedom has come. Personal. You are going to have it yourself. Purposeful to release you into life. A life of joy. A life of excitement. A life that is fulfilling a purpose on earth. Number two, present pleasant freedom. Through the pitiful Lord. The Lord looks at you. And he pities your condition. This is a creature from the hands of God. And look at him and look at her. Tears all the time. Sorrow all the time. Sickness all the time. And the Lord says, a creature of God should not be suffering like this. The Lord has seen your condition tonight. And he is showing pity on your life tonight. And he's going to give you a present freedom. A pleasant freedom. Your life will turn around. Say, my life will turn around. Confirmed in heaven in Jesus' name. Number one, personal, purposeful freedom. Look at that. We're looking at John chapter 8. And I'm reading from verse 36. John chapter 8. Reading from verse 36. If the Son therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. If the Son, capital S, sent from heaven to break your yoke, to destroy all the atrocities of your life. If the Son, therefore, shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. Now, follow me. That word, if. I need to make you understand. Here is the Son of God, and He's waiting for you. And are you He's pointing to you, and He says, "If 
the son shall make you free. Then you hear that, you see, I think I need that today. I think I want that today. Everything standing between me and my freedom, I get that out of the way. A little, a little expansion now. The next word, when. When the Son, therefore, shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. The if, when you are outside, far away, turns around and becomes when. And you determine the when. And you say today, is a day the sun will set me free today is my time the time of my freedom has come anybody there i said anybody there when the sun shall make you free ye shall be free indeed look at that look at that if you were far away and he was talking to you and he said i'm here and to set you free and if you can come if the sun shall make you free and then you rose up and you came unto him and then he assured you he said when the sun shall make you free ye shall be free indeed now you come and he touches you if you are blindfolded he removes the bandage in your eyes if you are Paralyzed, he removes all the chains and all the shackles in your life, and you are free. And then you turn around, you say, It's no more if, it's no more when. The word is sins. Sins, the son, therefore, has made you free. You are free indeed. Give me a good amen. If that's when you are safe far away. He said, why don't you come? Why don't you decide? Why don't you turn around? Why don't you repent? Why don't you believe on me? And you are still outside. And then he said, because if the son shall make you free, you say, that's what I want. That's why I came. And as you come, he says, this is your time. And when the sun shall make you free, he shall be free indeed. And then you surrender, you bend, you submit unto him. You say, yes, Lord, I am here. I believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And then he sets you free. I said he sets you free. And since the sun therefore has made you free, ye are free indeed. That freedom has now come. The chains of sin, he will break. The chain of sickness, it will break. And the chain of satanic affliction, it will break and destroy in your life in Jesus' name. Look at Romans, Romans, Romans chapter 8. And I'm reading from verse 2. Romans chapter 8. And we're looking at verse 2. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ. The law. The law. The law of the spirit of life in Christ. How do I understand that? Now, when it says the law, there are many kinds of laws. But let me give you one. There is the law that if you throw anything up, the law will bring that thing down. You understand? I said you understand? Anything you throw up will come that We call it the law of gravity. There is the law of grace. That anyone that comes down from the height of pride and he humbles himself and he says, Lord, I come. I will no more be proud if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves submit themselves and give themselves hand over themselves unto the lord if the people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and turn around then it says i will hear from heaven it's a law it's a law it's the law of the grace of god similar to the law of gravity anything you throw up 
must calm down. The law of gravity. Now the law of grace that anyone, anyone that will humble himself and come. The Lord says, I will hear you from heaven. I will forgive your sin tonight. As you come, your sins will be forgiven. If you throw something up that is small, it will come down. If you throw something up that is big and heavy, it will come down. If you throw anything up, whether it's white or yellow or red or blue, anything you throw up must come down. Any sin, you humble yourself and you come down and you say, Lord, I am sorry, a big sin. A little sin, a common sin, an habitual sin, a day-to-day sin. The law of grace is that whosoever will come unto me, I will in no wise cast out. That law will be fulfilled for everyone that comes tonight, you come. I said tonight you come, and then the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free, me personal, me purposeful, has made me free from the law of sin and death. What does that mean? The law of sin, like courts, they were tying you, and the law of sin tied one leg, the law of sin tied another leg. The law of sin tied one hand and the other hand. And the law of sin also padlocked the mouth. And now Christ comes to set you free. He comes to set me free. And then all those cords that bind you, dragging you to the wrong place, that thing is now cut off. All the things that makes you use your hand in the wrong way, that thing is now cut off. All the things that made your mouth to go the right direction, the wrong direction, smoke the wrong thing and drink the wrong thing, that thing is cancelled tonight. Because number one, personal freedom. Because number one, purposeful freedom. By and through the Passover lamb. That's the lamb of God, Jesus Christ, that shed his blood for you. And he said, when I see the blood, I will pass over you. Tonight is your time. Miracle of salvation. Miracle of healing. Miracle of deliverance. Because that's a personal freedom. And it's just tonight, purposeful freedom. And it's all tonight. I'm looking at number two here now. Number two, we're looking at present, pleasant freedom through the pitiful Lord. Have you noticed the words there? Present, that means right now. Present. And this is the day of a present, daily, timely freedom that comes to you and it is pleasant pleasant freedom you say preacher i thought every kind of freedom is pleasant well let me tell you this there's somebody in the prison and eventually they showed mercy and they said okay we open the door you're free and then he came out free. The only challenge is all the members of the family, they have rejected him now because he went to the prison. The only challenge is, is the accommodation he was living before, all that was now taken away from him because he had gone to the prison. The only challenge is he doesn't have a place to live, a place to cook, a place to prepare anything. The only challenge is he doesn't have any place to get clothes, he doesn't have money, he doesn't have anything at all free. But it's not pleasant for him because he doesn't have anything that he will live on. The freedom we're talking about is not like that. 
present freedom, pleasant freedom. And the Lord sets you free, it brings you into abundance. It brings you into fellowship. It brings you into love. It brings you into joy. It brings you into everything you ever needed in your life. This is pleasant. And that pleasant freedom is coming upon your life tonight. I'm looking at James chapter 5 and we're reading from verse 11. James chapter 5 verse 11. Behold, we count them happy which endure. Ye have heard of the patience, perseverance of Job, and have seen the end of the Lord. That is the outcome, the end result. You have seen the freedom that the Lord gave, that the Lord is very pitiful and of tender mercy. Well, you know the story, the man was sick. The man had boils all over. The man came to the point he wished he had died. And God saw him in that condition. And he pitied him. And the Lord has seen you in your condition where you are now. And he has come to show pity upon you. He has come to show mercy unto you. He has come and he says at this present time. This present time, today, for you, that freedom has now come. All that Job suffered, all that he went through, as he prayed, the Lord turned the captivity. You see, the Lord will put a smile on your face. The sorrow, the sign, the suffering, the crying, the rolling on the ground, going about, I don't know where I will get relief, settle down. Your present freedom has now come. Your pleasant freedom has now come. Because the Lord pitied him, the Lord will pity you. Look at Psalm 103, and I'm reading from verse 3. Psalm 1. 103, we're looking at verse 3. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities? Look at that. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities? Everything you have done. Now, you understand forgiveness? When somebody says, I forgive you. That means I don't have any grudge against you, hold any grudge against you, and I'm, going to, I'm not going to punish you for that thing that you did. And true, when you are forgiven, all punishment is gone. When you are forgiven, all the load and the heavy sin upon you, everything is gone. And now David said, you know something? My soul, my spirit, praise the Lord. And bless the Lord. Why? Because he forgave all mine iniquities. And tonight, forgiveness has come. Present, present freedom and forgiveness. Pleasant, pleasant. When, when somebody who you love and somebody who is important in your life, who can either make you or mar you who can either break you or make you and he smiles at you he says all the anger is gone all the things I had against you everything is gone heaven smiles upon you tonight what are you heaven God in heaven Christ in heaven, the Holy Ghost. God smiles at you tonight. He said, because you turned away from your iniquities and you believe on the only begotten Son of God, the smile of heaven comes upon your life. And then you can say, he forgave all my iniquities. Look at the second line there. Who healeth all thy diseases. How many diseases will he heal today? I said, how many of your own diseases will he heal tonight? 
all, all, all. Can you imagine the pain at the back? Gone. Can you imagine the pricking in your eyeball? Gone. Can you imagine all that is your blood? Gone. Can you imagine that thing that will not allow you to sleep in the day or in the night? And you are wondering, is this how life will end? Tonight, your life will not end in sickness. Because tonight, every body in your carriage every load you are born every pain upon your life tonight tonight it is going away in jesus name you know we'll be having this uh, crusade now for you know that month and that month and that month and other people have uh, they have attended and as they attended they now can give testimony because they have present freedom what they had, you are going to have. And they also have a pleasant freedom. And what they had, you are going to have. It reminds me, it reminds me of a person called Bethel. And, uh, you know, she, she came. And the complications in her life. Everything at that time, as we mentioned the name of Jesus, all the complications went away completely. You got it. Uh, let Bethel talk to you herself. What the Lord did for her. Thank you, Bethel. Come talk to us. My name is Bethel Tokma. I was born with uh, some health challenges and uh, it's a hedge fund disease. I couldn't stool normally, so I went through a series of surgery. I discovered some uh, complications after the surgery. So I discovered that my an uh, upper abdomen above my navel was swollen and it made me appear like a pregnant woman and uh, at my lower abdomen i discover that it's hard and i'm having pain all over my and uh, my stomach pains we went to the hospital they asked us to some, run some tests we run those ran those tests when we came back with the result it was like the doctor couldn't understand what the result was saying. By the time I saw, I noticed my, that my, the tummy of my daughter was protruding and swollen as if she was carrying a pregnancy. It always brings tears on my eye. And uh, I didn't know what to do. But then, thank God, when the, the GCK Mina eventually came and we attended it. And after, it, and after some times, after the GCK, I, we noticed that the, the swelling was no longer there. I believe that this global crusade that has been going on for quite a number of time now that um, as many everybody that have been receiving their miracle not that our pastor our father in lord is going to other state to touch them no it's because they believed that, that that is how they get their healing so i had faith i placed faith in god that i am going to get my healing the global crusade eventually came and after the crusade i believed i got my healing I always answered amen, amen, when the man of God is preaching, and I believe I got my healing. Suddenly, I discovered my abdomen is flat. Looking, and when the doctor came, he saw me, he touched me, and he also shouted, that what is the meaning of this, that what happened? That did I go to a prayer house? I told him, yeah, yes, I went to a prayer house. And which prayer house? I told him, um, GCK, that just ended in Ninja State said by which pastor i told him pastor dr wf Kumi. then he said oh that's great man of god that god has done it for you go and rejoice praise the lord i want to thank god because god has already done it for me i am healed no swollen no no, no emission of flu the game i am so so happy happy you'll be happy tonight the lord had pity on her and the Lord has come tonight, congratulations. Because the Lord will have pity on you tonight and you'll have a present, pleasant freedom. Look at her, that was pleasant. Everything complicated in your life, the Lord is taking it away tonight in Jesus' name. Now, to show you that there's nothing you carry there, 
that the Lord will not take away. Let me bring another one to you. This is coming from a beloved daughter, Patience. And uh, she will tell you herself what the problem was. And then you will see as the Lord had pity on her, the Lord will have pity on you. Patience is bringing her testimony now. My name is Patience Sesam. God do, do this for me in Global Crusade. Hunchback, they turn that hunchback, then I'm shame. If I go anywhere, I'm shame. I'm carrying my children for hand, not for back like that. I'm shaming. So after that, I didn't know the time blew this thing. Oh, hunchback gave me. Now my mother tell me, I see a person who grow like this. My mother come tell me, I come to see this thing. Say, only me. All the sickness, only me go carry the sickness. After that, that global crusade, the time, the people will be free. They say, last word, prayer. Lay your hand on hand where you have the challenge and know that this is the moment but the resurrection power in Christ will roll that problem away. I can't say, okay, let me put my hands there. I put my hand like this. I can't put this one like this. I say, ah, I'm not going to put one for head again. Look, I put them like this. I can't put the two of them like this. Every kind of swelling, goiter, hunchback, swelling tummy. Lord, I pray, touch everyone now. After the global crusade, the hunchback disappear i no see it again i shout jesus i shout like this fast i shout like jesus after that glaucoma the doctor say i get glaucoma after the global crusade after the god the fw come we pray i can't see the glaucoma no i can't go back to hospital doctor say everything have do what vanish i thank god this man of God, F.W. Komo, God rest up this man to do all these things. I, I tell F.W. Komo, don't stop this global crusade because of me. She said, patience, don't stop this global crusade because of me. Please start to do that global crusade until forever. We do not have that. Until forever. Somebody there, praise the Lord. Hunch back gone. And now, where the hunch back used to be, she will carry her baby. And then the glaucoma leading to blindness, the Lord cleared everything. Her time came, your time has come. Who forgives? all thine iniquities and healeth all thy diseases if you can take much back away in a moment of time he'll take any other sickness any other infirmity away from your life tonight in jesus name now why 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 did God do that? Look at verse 13. Psalm 103, verse 13. Like as a father pities his children, so the Lord pities them that fear him. The pity of the Lord will roll your problems away tonight in Jesus' name. Number three now. We're looking at number three. Permanent, perpetual freedom for penitent lowliness. When you say, I will not be proud anymore. Who am I? That the Lord is calling me and I'm drawing back and dragging my feet. When you are penitent and say, Lord, I am sorry. I come to you now. The Lord will have mercy on you. I said the Lord will have mercy on you and it will give you freedom that is present, purposeful, permanent and perpetual in your life in Jesus' name. The healing you get tonight will continue tomorrow, will abide 
until next year and you will enjoy a life of total freedom supernatural freedom from your sin from your sickness in jesus name the lord will totally set you free look at first samuel there for samuel chapter 7 and i'm reading from verse 6 for samuel chapter 7 verse 6 and he gathered together to me speak and drew water and poured each out before the Lord. And they also fasted on that day. They fasted on that day. Oh, you say, Pastor, I didn't hear that before. I should have fasted today. Well, Jesus did everything for you. Jesus has fasted for you. Even the fast you cannot do, Jesus did that for you. See, he fasted for me. And he fasted for me. And his fast that he made for you is more powerful than anything you can do by yourself. And then they said, we have sinned against the Lord. And Samuel judged evaluated the people and corrected the people the children of Israel in Mizpah and then he tells us in verse 8 look at verse 8 it says and the children of Israel said to Samuel cease not stop not to cry unto the Lord our God for us that he will save us out of the hand of of the Philistines. That's exactly what we are doing tonight. The Lord will set you free. He will save you from the hand of Satan and the Philistines and the evil powers and all the occultic powers tonight. Total freedom has come for you. And then in verse 9, in verse 9, and Samuel took his suckling lamb, the lamb of God is represented there. And because of what Christ, the lamb of God, had done, and he was offered, offered it for a bond offering holy unto the Lord. And Samuel cried unto the Lord for Israel, and the Lord heard him. Every prayer we pray tonight, the Lord hears the prayer. Every prayer we make for you tonight, the Lord hears the prayer. Every request we are asking for your forgiveness, for your freedom, for your salvation, for your healing, for your deliverance, and for setting you free, the Lord answered our prayer for you tonight in Jesus' name. And look at verse 10. In verse 10, and as Samuel was offering up the burnt offering the Philistines drew near to battle against Israel but the Lord thundered with a great thunder on that day upon the Philistines and discomfited and destroyed and scattered them all those enemies in your life they are scattered tonight and they was meeting before Israel. Then in verse 13, it says, And the Philistines were subdued, praise the Lord. Sin, subdued. Sickness, subdued. Evil spirit, subdued. That thing walking about in your body, subdued. And all the things, all the plan and the plot of the enemy of hell for your soul, everything they are planning, everything subdued. Incurable disease, all that subdued. And all the palpitations of the heart, everything will become quiet. There will be peace in your soul. And peace in your life. A peace in your body. And then it says, all the days of Samuel, all the days, the miracle you get tonight is permanent. The salvation you get tonight is permanent. The healing you get tonight is permanent. The deliverance you get tonight is permanent. All the days of Samuel, now all the days of the Savior. All the days of the Savior who said, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. He will always be with you to watch over the salvation he has given you and to watch 
over the freedom he has given you and to watch over the healing and the deliverance he has given you all the days of our Savior, the freedom you get tonight, permanent in Jesus' name. Do you want everything the Lord has provided for you tonight? Do you want his salvation tonight? Do you want his forgiveness tonight? Do you want his freedom tonight? Do you want his healing tonight? Do you want the deliverance tonight? It's bowed and eyes closed. It's bowed and eyes closed. This is the moment that the Lord will give you that present, pleasant freedom. This is the moment when the Lord will give you that personal purposeful freedom this is your time when the lord will give you that permanent perpetual freedom heads bowed and eyes closed as you want to now give yourself to the lord remember if the sun shall set you free you're still outside and then he says come and when the sun shall make you free and now since the lord has made you free you're free and free indeed you raise up your hand if you want that freedom he has pity on everyone he forgives everyone he turns every life around and since you are coming unto the lord jesus christ humble yourself and say lord i know christ died for me i know that jesus paid the price for me and this is the time for me to have that personal purposeful freedom this is for me to have the present day freedom pleasant freedom raise up that hand and say lord i turn away from my sin i turn away from all my iniquities i turn away from all my transgressions lord i come forgive me and this moment the lord will forgive me if you're raising up your hand please stand up you're raising up your hand for that freedom for that forgiveness and for that salvation wherever you are you raise up the hand, you stand up, and then tell the Lord, Oh Lord, I come. Oh Lord, I come. If the sun shall make you free. When the sun shall make you free. Since the sun makes you free now, you'll be free indeed from all those things that had bound your life. Keep on standing and praying for you now. All our friends and brothers, sisters online, the same thing your freedom comes now over the radio over the television your freedom comes now any congregation where you are and you are linked up with us in this a global crusade your freedom has come now raise up the hand and stand up and the freedom the salvation is yours now we're praying together put your mind here now we're praying and the Lord is going to answer every prayer that is prayed for you. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you tonight. We bless your name tonight. We know you have invited us through the Son, our Savior and Lord. And you have said, whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord will be saved. I bring everyone here, raising up their hands and standing, wanting the forgiveness and the freedom and the salvation. And everyone, everywhere, asking for the same freedom and the forgiveness and salvation right now set them free from their sin in jesus name take the guilt of sin away take the condemnation of sin away and lord i pray at this present time at this present moment let the freedom and the forgiveness and the salvation come to everyone now in jesus name let the joy of salvation come in every heart and the freedom that comes with salvation let it come to everyone right now thank you lord we know it is done 
you have heard our prayer you have saved the souls you have set them free we we'll pray the testimony of the spirit of god will be in every heart right now in jesus name we pray Amen. Keep on standing. Our counselors are there. They will attend to you very quickly and briefly. And they registered your name because of what the Lord has done for you and in you. And online, everywhere, the same thing. Let's get those names registered to see what the Lord has done. I am free. I'm forgiven. I am saved. Confirmation in your life in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord for the decision you have just taken. You've just surrendered your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Remain where you are. Please, the counselors are reaching you right now. And please, all our workers, wherever you are, those of you sitting down, please join the counseling. We have so many persons tonight that have just decided for the Lord. Please walk us to the glory of God. Rise up and join the counseling team so that we can get this, our new brothers and sisters coming into the kingdom of God. Please, let's do that quickly. Receive them gladly. Give them all the encouragement. And please take the sleep and help them to fill their names and the addresses correctly. Please. Please. Walk us. Those of you who are at the far back to the left and to the right and those of you who are outside these premises outside just by the fence Please, I plead with you, just move inside, raise up your hands so we can see you and attend to you. Wave your hands if you have not been attended to. The pastor is delighted to see you do this. The pastor has a special message for you. Through these counselors that are reaching you there now, wave your hand to the counselors so you can receive the special message from the pastor. Please do that joyfully. You've heard the message. You've seen all the testimonies that the pastor shared with you. You heard those people personally yourself. This is not storytelling. You heard them. They told you the very place where this crusade held and what the Lord did in their life. So you are getting a first-hand information and the Lord will do the same to you. Please, those of you who are watching online and you've just surrendered your life to Christ after the pastor's message, I also encourage you. And the pastor is delighted to seeing you do this, you know, good effort, click on your, you know, a, 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 a gadget there and fill the form and uh, you submit it as well. It's through this form that further information and materials will be sent to you that will help you in your new found faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Please, all workers, wherever you are, I repeat. The number of people that have given their lives tonight after the pastor's message, there are so many. And they have outnumbered our counselors here. Please, all our church workers, wherever you are, join the counseling. All members of the choir, other workers, 
please our pastors give a helping hand this is the reason why we are here that's why the man of god had given all this time to get these people in please let's cooperate and do this joyfully to the glory of god no worker should be sitting down idle let's all get involved and reach these sons and daughters that has come to the lord tonight they have heard the word they have responded there is great joy in heaven the servant of god is also grateful to god that souls have responded to the message that the lord had given him to us here tonight let's all cooperate and do this and bring these people in and those of you who are just coming i want to announce to you that there'll be a special global worship service tomorrow here at the alpha location and all of you should please be here tomorrow at the end of the worship service you'll do well to wait behind because the pastor is sending a special message to you and we want to give you attention to deliver that message to you those of you for thursday those of you for friday and those of you that are just coming in tonight please do well tomorrow to wait at the end of the service so we can convey the pastor's message to you a special message and for every other person there'll be a special online banquet for all those watching online who had given their lives to Christ, that will be Sunday 6th of November 2022. More details about this will be sent to you. Our pastor will be delighted to have you join this special banquet. Thank you very much. Bori Believers Banquet comes up Sunday 6th November 2022 at the Deeper Life campground bore time 4 p.m 4 p.m all these are converts here will take all of them there that sunday 6th of november please workers let's be up and doing if you finish with one person please take another person let's do that quickly they are waiting for us let's do that heaven is rejoicing that this message that the servant of god had delivered multitudes have responded it's the miracle of the lord let's help to bring them in reach them and for those of you who have just given your life to christ if no counselor has reached you please wherever you are standing just wave your hand you can see me do exactly as i'm doing here so the counselors will reach you where you are we love you we want to reach you don't hide yourself don't go away wave your hand somebody will reach you now at the far back somebody will reach you at the far left somebody will reach you if you are outside the school premises you are standing by the road please i plead with you just come into this premises quietly from where you are so we can talk with you and give you the message from the servant of god you have just listened to it is his delight to see you come closer as you listen to the message clear thank god you have responded god bless you for that for this decision you have taken there is joy in heaven there is joy in heaven over this decision you have taken cancel us please let's do our best Let's do our best. If you have finished with one person, go to the next person. And those of you who have not been reached, please keep waving your hands. Keep waving your hands. 
If you have an handkerchief with you, wave it so we can see you and reach you on time. God bless you as you do that. God bless you as you do that. Wave your hands. Let the counselors know you are there. You need the attention. They will come to you. Indicate. Please cancel us. Let's move fast. Let's reach these converts for Christ tonight. The Lord that touched them, the Lord that brought them to himself. Through the message delivered by the servant of the Lord. By the grace of God, tomorrow, Sunday, 30th November, sorry, October. Tomorrow, Sunday, 30th October, October, 30th October, tomorrow, Sunday, we shall be here for the global worship service. And it will start at 8 a.m., 8 tomorrow morning. But we'll be here, 7.30, we'll start praying. Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuyi will be ministering from this Alpha location, Bori. And the message is going to all the many countries in the world and all over Nigeria. Nigeria, Africa, Europe, America, you know, the Oceania, all over. Many countries in the world, over 150 countries. The message will go far and wide. Those of us here will be gathering here tomorrow. Come with your family members. Come with your friends. Come with your neighbor. Let's come and have this refreshing global Sunday worship service tomorrow with Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuyi, the man of God you have just listened to tonight tomorrow will be another round of you know feasting where the servant of the lord will be rightly dividing and delivering the word that the lord has given to him don't miss it come and partake in the worship service invite your friends invite your neighbors Bring them here. The man of God is still coming. Wait patiently. You will carry your miracle home with you. He said that at the commencement of the message. He said it. He said it. Supernatural freedom. Miracle for you. With your name attached to it. Please be praying, be praying in expectation of what the Lord will do in your life. Cancel us, please, wave your hands. If you are true, the servant of God is ready. To my left hand side, to the right, if you are true, please wave your hand so we can allow the servant of God to come up and deliver. The miracle prayer. The miracle prayer as the Lord has given it to him. He's already standing. He's ready. Ready for the miracle prayer. Cancel us. Let's uh, move fast. Let's move fast. So we can allow the man of God to come forward and deliver the miracle prayer. For everyone. Cancel us if you are true, please. Wave your hand. Wave your hand as you are moving. Let me see you. The Lord bless you. Let's rise up on our feet. As the man of God comes forth to release the miracle prayer tonight. Welcome, sir.
Praise the Lord. God has answered your prayers. He has wiped away your tears. Cry no more, the healing has come. Cry no more, your miracle has come. You see what he did for other people, even on back, he removed glaucoma, he brightened the sight and the complications, he removed everything. This is the time of your personal healing, miracle, and freedom in Jesus' name. Let's all stand. You raise up one hand and you lay the other hand where you have the sickness or the challenge. Everyone, man, woman, boy, girl, believer, and everyone, the Lord is touching you now. When we mention the name of Jesus, that miracle will descend upon you immediately. And when we hear the final amen, and you check up yourself, you'll find the freedom, the deliverance, the healing, the miracle is there already. Remember, raise up one hand, lay the other hand where you have the challenge. The miracle is coming out. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you because we know you are the God that cannot fail. And your promises cannot fail. And you give a personal present and you give purposeful, pleasant freedom and healing to everyone. We are asking now, Lord, everything that Christ purchased on the cross of Calvary, bring to your people and heal them in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, that you touch the brain, that spirit of insanity, madness. I command you, come out in Jesus' name. I pray that all the swelling, goiter, and fibroid, and hunchback, and elephantiasis, and uh, near any kind of swelling, any part of the body, I send for the power of God upon you right now. Be healed in Jesus' name. And Lord, I pray that that swelling anywhere in the body will vanish away right now. I pray, Lord, that all the incurable diseases, cancer, be healed in Jesus' name. That issue of blood dry up in Jesus' name. That pile be healed in Jesus' name. And that asthma, I pray that that asthma is removed. You are healed right now in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray that all the pains in the chest and the pains at the back and the pains in the bone, Lord, I pray, remove everything in Jesus' name. That cramping of the muscles in your body and you feel that you cannot stand, you cannot even sit. Lord, I pray all that discomfort in the muscles, take everything away in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray that everything your people need, all their tears, I pray you dry up their tears. You take away their sorrow and all the pain and the plague in their lives, heal them in Jesus' name. But I'm asking that, you know, the problem they were born with and that problem has been there since birth. I pray the touch of the Lord will come upon your life now. You are healed in Jesus' name. Those deaf ears, I pray that those deaf ears will open and you begin to hear perfectly now in Jesus' name. The dumb tongue speak out in Jesus' name. Those blind eyes, Lord, I pray, touch the blind eyes and make them see very clearly now in Jesus' name. Those who are lame, I pray the power of God, the strength of the Lord will come to those lame legs now. Rise up and walk in Jesus' name. I try this and vanish away. And all the broken bones be mended right now. The impossibilities of your life be made possible right now right now in Jesus name Lord confirm the miracle everywhere 
healing everywhere deliverance everywhere freedom everywhere right left back center front every location all over the world miracle everywhere right now in jesus name i pray amen that final amen has dropped the miracle in your life check up now your miracle is present personal right there it has happened 